Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here with KelbyOne.com. Got a Photoshop fix for you. This one is on retouching eyes. And this is a very, very common thing where someone's eyes open wider than another in a particular shot at the moment you took the shot, or maybe it's just a physical thing. It just depends on the subject and the timing and everything. But if you take a look here, uh, the left eye is open wider than the right, and we're going to make them look the same. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the lasso tool, and we're going to select the eye that is wider and open. We're going to select kind of nice loose selection around it. Then to soften the edges, we're going to go under the select menu, under modify and choose feather. We're going to apply a 10 pixel feather, which is kind of my standard for high res images there. Choose OK. And then we're going to press command J on Mac or control J on Windows to put just that part of the eye up on its own transparent layer like that. So the background around it's transparent and you've got the image behind it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the move tool and we're going to take that eye and we're going to move it over where the other eye is. Now it looks like two left eyes which looks really creepy. So we're going to go to free transform command T on Mac or control T on Windows. We're going to right click anywhere inside that dial that, that uh, board bounding box that you see up there that'll box all the handles and we're going to choose flip horizontal. All right so at least it's going the right direction and we're going to kind of move it over and click OK hit return or enter uh, on a Windows machine. Now, if you look over here, it's not they're not exactly lined up correctly and there's some other issues. We're going to fix them all real quick. One is to lower the opacity so we can see where the other eye is. This way we can really line it up correctly. I'm going to take the little pupil and line it right up there with the other one so we know the placement is correct. All right, then we can bring the opacity back up to 100%. So I lowered the opacity so I could see through it moved it into position and raised the opacity. Now there are extra, you know, some of the extra stuff that came over from here we want to erase. So to erase, we're going to click on the layer mask icon down here. It's the third icon, at the bottom of the layers panel. It adds a white mask, so we're going to paint in black. And when we paint, it erases the excess that came over from the other eye. So we're going to kind of paint that stuff out of the way. And still, you know, you can see if you look at the photo, it's brighter on this side, right? So this is a little bit in shadows. This is a little bit brighter. So I'm going to brighten this eye a little bit so it's a bit better. We're going to click on the thumbnail there, right, in that thumbnail. And we're going to go just simply levels. You can use whatever you want. You could go back to camera raw or whatever you like. And we're just going to bring up the highlights here, the, the uh white slider here. We're going to bring it up a little to bring some highlights back to this side so it looks a little brighter and maybe a little bit brighter on the mid-tones, just a tiny bit, so it looks like this eye is brighter than that eye because the sun is coming from this way, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's the brighter eye. And then there is one more thing we need to do. Let's go ahead and flatten this. But if you will look, so one dead giveaway would be look at the, high, the catch light in the eye. It should be right? It's lit from this side. But on this side, the catch lights move to the other side of the eye. Dead giveaway. So here's what I would do. Get the clone stamp tool and we're going to make it small. And we're going to option click on that catch light right there. Option click on Mac. On Windows, it would be alt click to copy that. We're going to move straight over to the other eye to the same position and just click once or twice and the highlights there. Now unfortunately he has two catch lights now so we're going to go in here with a very small brush. Whoops, let's jump back to the uh, clone stamp tool, sorry. Very small brush and we're going to go in here and just paint that away so you don't see the second catch light and hopefully you'll do a better job than I just did but at least now our catch lights are on the same side. We can make this one a little rounder, make her pupil a little rounder again. There we go. Well, it's, it's kind of a hack job there. Let's, let's do a little better than that. There we go. All right, so now we have our catch lights on the right side. Both of our eyes are, are wide open and that whole nine yards. And you can you can go back and see here what it looked like when we started. So there we go. And then down here. And I also got rid of a little stray. You can see if I show you here, a little stray piece of uh, yarn, as it were and we have both her eyes fixed. So there you have it. Hey, if you like stuff like this, and you just saw a little short tutorial, over at kelby1.com, we have over 600 full-length classes on every Photoshop topic you can imagine, 
and Lightroom and lighting and photography and inspiration and the business side of photography and all that stuff, go to kelby1.com. Take the 10-day free trial. You will super dig it. You will love it. And uh, I think you'll have a really good time. And we'll catch you guys next time. Scott Kelby here. We'll see you.